We love old friends, and one who certainly deserves all the accolades that he gets tonight from Dodger fans is Jack Peterson. His energy, his playful laughter, just what he brought is definitely something that is not replaceable by anybody. Uh, those are the biggest things that stand out to me of Jock Peterson's time in Los Angeles. Wearing a different hue of blue, Jock Peterson returns to Dodger Stadium. The many fans in the left field pavilion have splendid memories of the 29-year-old outfielder who endeared himself to those who watched him grow into a postseason star from that initial period as a top-rated prospect. They yet to make it to the Biggs prospect who dined with and listened to the legendary Tommy Lasorda during spring training in 2014. Put a little of this on it. Jack, you worked, you worked hard today. He struck out. <laughs> But you look good. You look good swinging. That's what I saw. Keeping it positive. I take the time out to take them to eat. Tell them how good they are. Tell them how, what they need to do to be successful. I like to invite the ones I see hustle. Someone who wants to learn. Someone who believes in the Dodgers. You, you got a wall in front of you. Yeah. Jock Peterson making his major league debut in a starting role. The Dodgers hoping to get a little extra emotional lift by the rookie. Hey, is the camera on? It's rolling. <laughs> Jock, as he stands in at the plate, just turned 22. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. It's swung on, little pop fly in the center. It's going to drop. Jock Peterson gets his first major league hit. We're putting together our coffee list. Well, last year on getaway day, Matt and Dre decided they wanted coffee. And so they sent Jock on a run in full uniform to get it. This year, Jock came into the clubhouse with a paper ready to take orders and pretty much volunteered himself to go. Grande hazelnut iced coffee. <laughs> Jock Peters. <laughs> you can just take the list all. Yeah. Yeah. You're in your uniform, there's a lot of fans. Uh, that creates some anxiety, and uh, they handle it great. What a catch by Jock Peterson. Now we have a center fielder. Rookie outfielder Jock Peterson will be participating in the 2015 Home Run Derby. Oh, Go, Jock. Don't quig it. Tell him that he was your favorite player. I told him, but my mom told me that Jock's my favorite player. Jock's my favorite player, but you know, where's Champ? Champ make it? Right here. I don't know. What you're right here. Big C. Champ is here. What's up, buddy? Good. I think everyone lights up when Champ's around. When he walks in a room, he knows how to uh, demand the attention of the entire room. He has a bad oh. That's zero points, Jock, your swing is kind of uh, good. As an older brother champ, he just puts a smile on your face. I'm lucky to be a part of his life. <laughs> Nationals lead 1-0 as Jock Peterson leads off. Deep left field. It is gone into the Dodger bullpen. We are tied at one. It's got a chance, and it is. Peterson delivers again. Peterson hits one down the right field line. It is gone. That is well hit into left center field. Peterson with a blast. And a look at Smoke. Over the past six plus years, Peterson peppered Chavez Ravine with unforgettable moments at the plate and on the field. But tonight, for the first time, he stands in Dodger Stadium's visiting dugout. Across the way, the friends he once called teammates are bringing him the gift he earned alongside them last fall. 
such a special moment. Jock Peterson and his family will never forget this moment. Him as a visiting player coming yeah. here with his former teammates getting this World Series ring. He grew up in this organization, got huge, huge hits for the Dodgers, especially last season. They were so happy to see him. I mean, you yeah. talk about a bond. Mm -hmm. Wow. You could tell how much Jack Peterson means to that group of guys in the other dugout. Wiley's on-field brothers admired Peterson. His biggest admirer has always been his older brother, Champ. The feeling is mutual. And to show his appreciation, Jock purchased a World Series ring for his lifelong supporter. You got your own World Series ring. Show that thing off. I'm sewing it off right now. <laughs> I'm very proud of it, too. My brother, he's amazing. What he does for himself, his family, and other people. I got Jock Martinez thing. Backstage Dodgers is brought to you by Cadillac. Visit your Southern California Cadillac dealer today. Kelly wants to get this out for sure, not only to seal the W, but got to be a little personal with the ex-teammate. Like Jock, you got your ring, but you're not going to get a hit. One, two pitch. And that's it. 97 to finish the night. And the Dodgers end the losing streak at four with a 6 2 win over the Cubs. With the Dodgers getting the victory, the team is back on track and planning to stay there while one player is looking to jumpstart his season when the opportunity arrives. Cody Bellinger has spent the bulk of the season battling injury, waiting on a bone to heal, while trying to keep his skills ready to meet the moment. That moment arrives in the bottom of the ninth. Two outs, game tied. Here comes Bellinger, back this week off the injured list. We go to the test. He'll be taking on Jansen. Bellinger can make us all forget about that. High fly ball in the center. Back. Walk it off. Bellinger. Dodgers win it. 3 2. Might just get him on track, and who knows? Maybe even the Dodgers. As Backstage Dodgers continues, Clayton Kershaw shares a victorious experience with his son. Clayton Kershaw will be elected to the Hall of Fame someday, perhaps unanimously, and largely because of how he's bullied hitters throughout his career. Clayton Kershaw out there for the 17th time this year. Hey. Wilson Contreras is set to lead things off tonight. Clayton Kershaw's first pitch of the ball game's in for a strike. That breaking ball can wipe out a right-handed hitter and make you numb in your back foot. There, just like that. So two gone bases empty now for Anthony Rizzo. struck out Rizzo thought he had him struck out we thought he had him struck out the only guy he didn't convince was a home plate umpire Ryan Blackney oh boy <laughs> dude all right had to throw him four strikes to strike him out
Matt Beatty, Chris Taylor, Gavin Lux in the Dodgers half of inning number two. First pitch from Adbert Alzali gets a piece of him. He's aboard in front of Chris Taylor. Talking to David Ross before the game tonight about his 26 year old rookie right hander. He doesn't walk a lot of people doesn't give up a lot of hits. It's that homer at the wrong time that has been his problem this year. And just as I get through talking about how he doesn't walk people he's walked two tonight. Second full count pitch of the inning and he loses Lux on ball four. That's an 0 2 count that went progressively worse for Alzali. Bases loaded with nobody out and a huge opportunity for Zach McKinstry early in the ballgame. And how do you beat the big bad Dodgers? Just how you beat up a bully. You got to go right at them, strike one, attack them, and do not walk them. 1 1. McKinstry swings and sends a ball to deep right field. Peterson back, and it's gone! Rookie versus rookie, and the hitter wins. A grand slam for Zach McKinstry, 4 0 Dodgers. Two balls and no strikes to Bellinger, the eighth Dodger to bat in the inning. High drive out to right field. Peterson backing up, feeling for the wall, and that one's gone. Homer's in back to back days for Cody Bellinger. And Belly said that home run yesterday means that he's back, and it looks like he is indeed back. And boy, for Dodger fans, it is great to see the former MVP back in the lineup with that swag and that swing. The six runs of support come early, and with Clayton Kershaw locked in from the start, his swing and miss stop guarantees a series win against the Cubs. Two balls and two strikes to Eric Sogard. That's his fifth strikeout of the night already. Curveball got him. That'll make Dave Roberts smile. People ask, you know, was it his best performance of the year? And, and I guess my standard line is it, it's there haven't been any ones better. A couple of curveballs here of late from Kershaw, and he strikes out Bryant with the slider. Eight strikeouts for Kershaw. Obviously, the results were outstanding, Go pitching through eight innings, saving our bullpen. Very efficient, very fun to watch, and certainly much needed. And on pitch 101, a ground ball that will retire the side. 13 strikeouts for Clayton Kershaw. He has been phenomenal this evening in eight innings of work. Javi Baez represents the last chance for Chicago tonight. Three in a row for Los Angeles. A magnificent night for Clayton Kershaw in a 7-1 to one Dodger victory. For me personally, I've gotten to see Clayton, and I know he probably doesn't like it when I say this, but soften a little bit. Um, and, and kids does that to you. Say good job, Belly. So fast. Like guy, you get yes. Yes. High fives. High fives. That's the deal. Say good job, guys. Okay. Hey, there, Charlie. Oh, strong. Hey, strong. Hey, babe. Doing strong. To bring his son through the victory line and be with them afterwards. I think it's fantastic, and uh, I think our younger players see that uh, the more human side of Clayton. So um, it, it was a lot of fun and happy for him and his family. Yeah, you sir, they're also ever. <clears throat> okay. What do you think, dude? Cool. You're gonna ask a question, and then. We can't, we won't be able to see anybody though. Do you remember like this when we did the World Series? Yeah, it's kind of silly, huh? Clayton, did you sort of know from the get go that you had your good game, good stuff today? Uh, I don't know if you ever know for sure. You know, I think there's always times 
you have good first innings and things go awry. But first innings are typically, you know, as a starting pitcher, um, important and sometimes difficult to settle in. So uh, anytime you can get one, two, three inning in the first and get things going, it's a good thing. And um, yeah, it's, I felt good after that. Thanks, Clayton. All right, thanks. Thanks, Charlie. Say bye, guys. The next night, another long tenured Dodger keeps turning back the clock in his performance with a chance to put a stamp on a division game against the first place Giants. Here we go for the ninth inning, though, of game one against the Giants and Kenley Jansen, yet to allow an earned run this month. Six out of six and save opportunities. He's having a fantastic year. He's another guy that's right on the edge to being an all star. Well, the reliability has been as good as I've seen it um, in the six years we've been together. Uh, the accountability has been better than I've seen it. He's a big part of you know, what we need to do this year to win a championship. I, I said it all winter is we're our best club if he's closing out games. And um, he took that as a challenge and, uh, you know, and run with it. Throws a third and strikes him out. I feel great. You know, I feel that I'm a better pitcher now compared when I was having my great years because, you know, you deal with, um, you deal with failure. The Dodgers have won their fourth in a row. A nail biter over the Giants tonight, 3-2. You no, know, I hit rock bottom and um, I figure it out. You know, I put the work in and figure it out. So it's a great feeling to be back. It's a great feeling to um, find myself back out there and be as great I can be and try to help my team win. So I'm enjoying this one way much more compared to the, all the other years. 